I am Dave, welcome to Cycling Tips. We're here at the Willia factory in Italy. I'm being hollered to get me ass inside because we're gonna have a look at the new bike that the uh, Total Direct Energy team will be using in the near future. Here we have it, Williams Zero SLR, a bike they are claiming is the first ultra lightweight racing frame with disc brakes and fully integrated cables. It's I suppose a love child between the Zero 06 Unlimited and the Centro 10 Pro. It takes the lightweight form factor of the Zero 06 and adds the features of integrated cables and one piece cockpit from the Centro 10 Pro. With a frame weight of 800 grams for a medium in the matte black colour, forks that tip the scale at 340 grams and that cockpit starting at 330 grams, it certainly is a light machine. The question is, with adding these extra features, does it still retain that lightweight whippy feel that we know the 06 offers? Well, we got invited over by Willia to their HQ to go and test the new machine out. First up, it's a little bit of the history of the brand. They're giving us a guided tour of the factory. We're meeting the people, meeting the riders. Certain people you might have seen on the bikes. Have you been testing it? No, not You've yet. You've not tested it at no, all? No, no, Right. Well, well, there was a prototype, but it was not my size, so uh, my colleagues uh, tested it. A lot of brands obviously work with riders over the winter on producing a new bike, so nothing like that. Here oh, we talked Williams. about it, and uh, of course I had my influences. Yeah, we discussed a lot, and it's uh, great to see uh, to see the result in the, in the new bike. So I'm also curious to race it. You've, you've rolled the prototype version of uh, this. My first impression was very good. It was very rigid and reactivity. And the weight with 40 mm wheels and disc brake was 6.8. Professional riders, it's very important so to have a bike uh, for the mountain and with disc brake. So good also for the descent. So for us, it's just perfect. With the other model, the Cento, Cento 10, it's yeah, it's the mod, a model more uh, maybe for sprint, for flat road. It's also good for descent. It's very very good bike, but yeah, for the climb, it, it was a little bit uh, different. The, it's not the a geometry for a climber, so yeah, the bike uh, that uh, that Villiers uh, did for us, the the, the Zero SLR, uh, it, it's. Uh, it's just a bike, I think, more polyvalent and for a rider like me who is chasing stage win in mountain stage in uh, to the front or the Grand Tour. It Excellent. And you'll be, will you be riding with us today? Yeah, yeah but uh, after Liège I just uh, did, I just have a rest, so just tranquil. quiet, tranquil, tranquil. <laughs> just quiet. Fast lads, now you never get a perfect setup on these rides. On all these test bikes there's always a little bit of a a different feel to your setup, so you just got to go with the flow a lot of the time. This time round, it feels a little bit short on the top tube. Obviously, see how you can you can get spot on. So let's see how this thing plays in the mountains. Rightio, so far so good. The bike, it handles like a race bike, unsurprisingly. Um, it's really difficult to be picky with bikes now because they're all so good. They're at a level where they should be good and if they're not good it's a very, very big surprise. Anyway, the pace is high. These media events, you get the feeling that everybody thinks they're uh, part of the World Tour. I wouldn't mind, nobody is in the World Tour. Not even Nicky Terpstra. <laughs> Run for it, run! Okay, prove it. Boom, and now. 
<laughs> we've cooked him. Is it is it fair to say that we've made Nicky's legs hurt that much that he's had to go home? So did you feel good for him? He's just, he can't keep up with the journalist community, yeah. can he? We have to do an exchange of work. <laughs> okay, we are here with Claudio, main man behind Willie, eh? and a uh, gentleman who's going to... With grey hair. Important things you can see is the aerodynamics because all the cables run through. Probably there is no such light bikes with integrated cables. To do that, we produce our own integrated bar and then the fork. Because we profit of the disc brakes, we are able to make a very wide head so the two legs of the fork are very wide compared to the wheel. So there is no, uh, no drag. That's something we learn from our frames, uh, our Cento DHE Pro, our Turbine from um, Triathlon. As wide as possible is better and more aero. Uh, the target was to be light, to be stiff and to be comfortable. And we achieve the result. There is a special blend of material. We use a special, we call a liquid crystal polymer woven inside together the, 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 the composite. Also that uh, increase the strength of the frame and also the, the, the comfort. The design, to be honest, is quite normal. We try to be uh, no compromise. Uh, we shave where it's possible to shave. We put more material where it's needed. That's all. Yeah, a medium frame in the real world weight 780 more or less. I mean a frame ready to go with is a steel parts on board with the paint and whatever. This is something you really when you buy you can really measure on a scale. How many bars uh, and stem combinations are there? Today we have five sizes but of course a step by step uh, depending the market request we are able it's our own design we can produce whatever we oh. want. Uh, you see there is a Mavic um, QR. This is a special uh, things from, from Mavic, is a, their patent. It's a special system that allows you to change a wheel faster than a, faster than a QR. And the thread is a twins. So you need, it's one centimeter of thread, but you just need five turns, so very fast. Take it out one centimeter and the wheels will fall down with the axle inside the hubs. That's also something that professional will, 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 will love it. All right, you've heard from Claudio, you've heard from Nicky Terps. It's now time to hear from me, unfortunately, about the new Willia Zero SLR. Well, considering it's an Italian brand, um, it's quite surprising to see them leading the charge, I would say, being acclaimed first for a lightweight integrated disc brake bike. Yes, there is plenty of integrated disc version bikes out there, but uh, I would hasten to say that they're not lightweight or um, or aero they usually fall into the aero category I think it's fair to say the thing is with Willia being bang on trend uh, and releasing a bike that is lightweight disc and integrated I feel kind of makes it lose a little bit of that Italian charm I like me Italian brands to be a little bit behind the curve or a little bit against the grain shall we say it's a stupid complaint I know but it's only one of a few things that I didn't really like about the bike. The rest of what I did like, and there is a lot which I did like, and a few bits that I didn't like are in the article that I will link below. So if you want more of my thoughts on this bike, please check that article out. Otherwise, join in the conversation below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and until next time, thank you for watching, and enjoy your riding. As many of you may know, we have been acquired by Pink Bike, which has allowed us to get some um, really nice rental cars. I wish.